Hey Cancer, welcome back to my channel. My name is Simone, the Moon Goddess. This is your reading for the full moon in Scorpio, a big one. You know, Scorpio is all about rebirth, transformation. Scorpio is associated with Pluto energies. So it's real digging deep. You know, this is this is digging deep and the energies might feel overwhelming. Intent, Scorpio is an intense sign. Um, but we got this, you know, we got this. As the moon gets bigger and bigger we and we enter into the full moon, um, all of our energies are amplified. Everything around us, is, energy is amplified, you know. So it might feel like a lot, but you got this, right? You got this. So this is the Cancer Sun Moon Rising Venus and Jupiter for the period the 18th on to the up to the 24th of May. So we will be exploring it's actually kind of like the shadow videos that I did. You know, we're going to be exploring what's your root, exploring the energies around yourself, how you view yourself, what's going on with yourself energies and then we look at the mirrors, the reflections, the people around you, the situations around you. Okay? So, anybody interested in a personal reading with me, all of my details are in the description box below. Follow me on Instagram, the Moon Goddess Tarot. Um, yeah, that's it. Your first card, Cancer. Three of Swords. Okay, so there's some worry, there's some sorrow, there's some heartache. Um, that's going on with you and I feel like that's possibly your trigger. Whatever's broken your heart recently or possibly over a period of time is triggering your rebirth, your transformation, your freedom. Okay. Along with that is three of swords, three of wands reversed, three of wands reversed. Okay. At the bottom of the deck. So definitely some real soul searching. Like whatever breakdown this is, you got two threes here. Okay, so that's creative energy. Um, whatever has caused this heartache to happen has caused you to take a step back and say, hang on, hold on. How have I, how have I been living? What energies have I been putting out, projecting onto others? How have I been giving away myself to others in situations and, and relationships? Okay, some real thought process happening here. Okay, so let's see what's going on with yourself now. What's going on with the self energies? So we have Prince of Swords here for your energies going on with yourself. Again, ready to express yourself. I feel like Cancer is ready to speak up and say something and be clear and honest with others and themselves as well. Feel like there is whatever has been whatever web whatever um screen has been over things peeling away you want to get to the bottom of this to the to the situation you want to get to the root you want to deal with things straight up and straightforward prince of cups at the bottom of the deck so you have two knights here so definitely some action happening um Swords is communication, thoughts, um, your focus. Swords is ear energy. So that's Gemini, Aquarius, uh, Libra energy. Then you have your cups. So that's you, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces energy. Two knights, upright, action happening, action. Balancing your thoughts, balancing your emotions. Um, all kicking off from whatever's caused a massive massive turmoil in your life right now you are really pulling it back and drawing pulling it back and going back to the drawing board weighing things two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck weighing the situation weighing you your your feelings your needs the aspects of you that you have been hiding away let's see how you are reflecting or what's mirroring you what's your reflections what's going on for cancer Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. What's their reflection? What's their mirror? Okay, so Princess of Cups reversed. Interesting. So you have Prince of Cups for yourself and your reflection is Princess of Cups reversed. So I, I, if you're experiencing somebody who's emotionally draining, emotionally manipulative, codependent, 
um, maybe even like very much in their in this realm, very much about money and not so much about the spiritual aspect of their lives. Bottom of the deck is Eight of Cups. So this is something that you might be walking away, but you're walking away from this, this reflection. And heading towards your spiritual growth, heading towards your spiritual awakening and your, your awareness. Um, interesting that it's a full moon as well. So full moon energies might be causing you to really say, okay, enough is enough and I'm ready to take my life to a whole new level. I'm ready to like clear out what needs to be cleared out so that I can live from a real authentic space, especially with myself. So, well, okay, let's clarify some cards here. Okay, let's clarify some cards. Lots of water energy. Um, you cancers will be finding the energies particularly amplified as well because y'all water signs and um, full moons make everything seem so much bigger. Why is the three of swords here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter? Okay, you got three cards. Yeah, three cards. So you're split down the middle about something. As much as this situation's hurt you and you're going back to the drawing board and reviewing some thoughts, some plans, some ideas, it's caused a split in your thought process, split in your mind, you know? Here you got the two of swords. So you're between minds almost as to how to deal with the situation. Um, seven of cups. You gotta keep your eye on the prize, keep your eye, keep focused on where you're headed. Don't get confused with all the different, because as much as this has hurt you and you're between minds, like you might be between minds because it's like, you feel like there's so much illusion that you can't figure out what's truth from fiction, what's fact from fiction. And this person or person or situation might be trying to get your mind to change, to switch get you to see something different that's not really there because it's all based on illusion look at all these different cups and you don't know which way to turn you don't know which is right which is left what's what's truth what's not next card is knight of pentacles so you have three knights here so there's a lot of action happening there's a lot of action lots of um a real catalyst and perhaps this night energy, this action energy, this is the catalyst for you to make change. So Knight of Pentacles, this is about you, you know, observing the land, going through the process, the mundane, the grounding, you know, connecting to earth, taking your time and trying to review things. You're bringing some grounding energy. So you have swords, your thoughts, cups, which is your emotions. And then you have the earth, which is grounding you and reminding you and bringing you back to the reality of the situation, okay? All from this heartache, this heartbreak. Let's see why you have your three of wands here, okay? Let's see. Where's the three of wands here for cancer? Where's the three of wands here? Okay, Seven of Swords. So it's like you could have been dealing with somebody who's trying to get away with something, pretending to be something or not. They thought they did get away with it, but you're like the lion standing behind them. Like, hello. You thought you got away, didn't you? But I could see you. I could see everything. You know? It's also like, I feel like these are your... Um, these are the aspects of you that try to like run away that you don't want to necessarily look at but you're being forced to look at 
It's like they creeped up on you. It's like your higher self has creeped up on you and is like, yep, we need to talk. You need to get things in order. You know, you need to stop repeating patterns. You need to stop talking negatively to yourself. You need to focus on what it is that's really pulling you, your soul purpose, your soul mission, you know? Okay, let's see why your prince of swords, why is prince? These cards are so slippy. Okay. Why is the Prince of Swords here for Cancer? Why is the Prince of Swords here? Nine of Pentacles. So this this aspect of yourself that wants this abundance for yourself this sense of independence as well i feel like y'all so hurt by this that you feel like it's time for you to focus on you attaining your yeah gr getting grounded getting grounded getting stable and attaining all the beauty the luxury the good life um your connections to earth you know, you're giving, you're receiving, you're flowing, working towards this, working. And those are gourds, I believe. Um, which, is, which is what's used to collect water, isn't it? Um, why is, and the bottom is page of pentacles. Okay, so this sense of okay you know where you're going you know where you need you know the steps you need to take to get to that point you know your mind is clearer you don't mind you don't care if you, your needs your wants your truth is controversial you stand up for it you know where you're going okay you know how you're getting to this nine of pentacles you know how you're building this sense of grounding and stability for yourself and here is this page of wands offering you a step along the way all parts of yourself your inner self your higher self um guiding you pushing you forward saying you got this i feel like that's your divine feminine energies let's see Maybe you're masculine because it's Prince of, of Swords and Swords is masculine energies. Let's see why Prince of Cups is here. Why is, why is the Prince of Cups here for, for Cancer? Okay, let's see. The Hierophant. So this is, like this popped out for Gemini, I believe. The Hierophant is like this doing, this action, this night, this offering you this cup. And this is water energy again. So, I, and this, I feel like this is spiritual advice. You know, this is assisting you on your spiritual path because the Hierophant is very much about spirituality, um, structures, the keys and to enlightenment. You know, so I feel like this Prince of Wands, Prince of Cups energy, I feel like this is your divine feminine energies actually your divine feminine energy is leading you to this hierophant leading you to this sense of having rituals to rely on you know a sense of um a sense of home coming back to home coming back to self bottom of the deck is ten of wands so how are you Perhaps what you need to let go of is feeding others before feeding yourself. You know, feeding something that you don't feel aligned to. A situation, a person, a, a job, a relationship, um, an environment that you don't feel connected to. And there you are. You're nurturing it though. And carrying this weight that's not yours. It's like the higher font comes in and says, no, you need to release yourself. You need to connect to yourself. Find ways to, you know, find routines, spiritual routines, whether it's meditation, yoga, 
um, seeking out spiritual advice to take you along your path. Let's see what's happening for your reflection. Why is Princess of Cups here for Cancer? Why is the Princess of Cups here? Reversed. Okay, Queen of Cups. So this is you, Cancer. Okay, this is you. You got this Princess of Cups reversed. This reflection, this balance. Um, this mirror. And they're pouring out. You know, pouring out possibly overly emotional. They don't trust their intuition. You know, they're very much outside themselves. They don't, so low self-esteem, feeling vulnerable. And here comes this Queen of Cups, like, hello. Know who you are. She's very much the opposite of that. Very confident. She's flowing with the energies. You know, she's trusting her intuition. Nurturing. Connected to the earth. Seeing beyond the veil. Um, balanced emotionally. And able to be vulnerable as well. Bottom of the deck is the lovers. Okay, so like... Um, That's interesting. It's like a choice, isn't it? It's a choice of those two energies. Hang on. Let's go again. Why is the Princess of Cups here? Give me another card for this Princess of Cups. <clears throat> okay. Knight of Wands. All right. So maybe this Queen of Cups, this spiritual advisor, um, motivates you, gets you going draws things to your attention and perhaps the prince of princess of cups feels reversed because you don't necessarily want to hear what they have to say because pages or princess is a messenger okay and to have the queen of cups show up it might be that you don't necessarily want to hear what they have to say that you're not ready to hear what they have to say you know but it's truth that they're speaking and they're looking to push you forward. They're looking to like inspire you to keep moving forward. To, it's almost, and he kind of looks like a, a phoenix in a way, doesn't he? Let's see why the Eight of Cups is here. Okay. That's a new way to shuffle. It's six cards. The Fool. All right, the moon is there, which is your ruler. All right, let's shuffle. Let's see if they come out again. Why is the Eight of Cups here for Cancer? Why is the Eight of Cups here? Okay, so Page of Cups. <laughs> so you got Page of Cups twice for this outside, this reflection, this mirror. You got Page of Cups twice. One reverse, one upright. The one that you're, that's walking away. Okay, that walking away energy. Um, this Eight of Cups. They also have a message. So as much as you looking to walk away from this reflection, this person who is in your life, possibly another water sign or have the energies, could be a very um, spiritual person, spiritual advisor, uh, an intuitive, an empath, a healer of some sort. And they're bringing messages to you but you might not necessarily be ready to hear it. But it's guided energies. Okay, this is like ancestors watching over you, spirit team, your higher self, your spirit guides, your angels watching over you. Okay, watching you over you in this realm as well because it's pentacles, it's earth energy. So all this cup energy I feel is very 
um, dreamy, watery, spiritual. But here is the pentacles to show you that you're being watched over in this realm as well. Um, and here's death. Okay, here's the death card. This is card associated with Scorpio. And she's here to bring new life. With death comes new life. So whoever this um, queen of wands, queen of cups, sorry. This mirror to you, this reflection, this person. They actually want your highest good. They're helping you to elevate to another level. Got these two cards. Okay, similar colors. Right. Okay, let's see um any any final word for cancer. Whatever advice. Final word of advice for cancer. Okay, so two of wands. Alright, so it's like um you're not crazy. How you feel you're not crazy, how you don't worry about those who don't understand you. Continue along your path, okay? Continue releasing all this stagnant energies. Continue allowing your, uh, um, unblocking all of your channels, balancing your chakras, connecting to the earth, following your truth. Don't worry about if you're understood or not. If people think that you're absolutely bonkers, okay? You keep moving forward. You're, you're working your way towards your new life. Okay. Ashe, bottom of the deck is um, Ace of Pentacles. So definitely, life is offering you, the universe is offering you a whole new, um, a new story, a new storyline. You're moving on to a new time, timeline, so to speak. So to speak new life and it's interesting for these two cards you have two babies you have babies and children which is very cancerian energy you know y'all like the home taking care of family your mothers you guys are the mothers of the zodiac so it's interesting that there's new life coming in as well in these in the in the cards literal literal new life new seeds Okay, let's see what's happening with the oracles for Cancer, Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. Message you have for Cancer. Okay, what message you have for Cancer? Message you have for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter for this full moon. Thank you. Chaos and conflict. Okay, chaos and conflict. And this is basically saying to you, that no matter how much craziness going on around you, and it's card 33, okay? And you had threes. You had threes, oh yeah, in the beginning. Three of swords here, and three of wands. Which is 33. Well, three, three, at least. You know what I mean? And it's basically saying to you, like, as much as there's chaos and conflict, chaos is creative energies, okay? So you... Things have to be stirred up in order to clear out dust, the dust balls, the cobwebs. To get things clear, to have clarity, you have to let things go to new, let to allow new energy to flow in. So embrace the chaos because within this chaos, you're being reshuffled into a whole new life. So that's actually quite beautiful. Hold on to it. Orphan at the bottom of the deck. Okay, card number five. So y'all definitely going through a massive trans transition transformation period and you're not orphaned you're not in this by yourself you know rely on your spiritual advisor your friend your counselor your um higher self as well reach out to people you don't have to suffer in silence okay so final card for cancer for this full moon this card for cancer Okay, well, full moon in Cancer, personal issue reaches resolution. Okay, so that's absolutely amazing and beautiful. Full moon in Cancer, 
Expect powerful changes at the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me quickly read Full Moon in Cancer. All right, so it says your affirmation or message to think about. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner. Okay, additional meanings, meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy, stop sulking, and have you had enough family time lately? The cancer, that's your message. It's saying a, a signal, a challenge is now coming to an end. Right? So as I was saying, the full moon, especially heading out towards the full moon, it might feel like absolute craziness. But you're being really guided and directed into a whole new beautiful reality. And it's so beautiful to see. Um, yeah. And trust your spiritual, this, this advice that's coming. It might also, it might not even be a person, it might be coming through your dreams. Okay? Because it's very watery energy. So this, you might be getting a repeating dream, messages coming through dreams, synchronicities, um, visions. Okay, so pay attention. Okay, Cancer. So that's your message for this full moon. Drop a comment below if the messages resonate. Um, anyone interested in reading, as I said, details are in the description box. And Cancer, until your next video. Later. Bye-bye.